Hello, how is everybody doing? My name is Jamil from Purgatory Magic. And today I want to make a quick and simple video about how to prepare a statue. This is a very quick and simple video on how to prepare a statue when you finish buying a statue from a spiritual store or a botanica, right? So here we have a statue of an anima sola, right? And what I wanna teach you guys is basically how to remove any impurities from these types of statues when we buy them from any shop, okay? So the first thing that we wanna do is we want Sorry about that. We want to get the statue. We want to spray it with any spiritual cologne and, um, you know, try to cleanse it as much as possible, remove the dust and things like that, right? But what we want to do also is have herbs, right? And one of the most universal herbs that you could use to bless a statue is basil. And you can find basil in any supermarket, right? So what you want to do is you want to get your statue, okay? And um, you want to get um, a little bit of basil. You want to get yourself a bowl, put a little bit of holy water in there, put a little bit of Florida water. In this case with the Anima Solas, the best um, perfume that you could use is either Florida water or Pompeii or Pompeia, okay? So you could put in that bowl a little bit of holy water, a little bit of Pompeia or Florida water. Usually Florida water is used for almost all the spirits. And um, get your little basil, your little sprigs of basil, dip them inside the water and splash, like wipe, wipe all around the statue. Wipe, wipe, wipe to remove all that negative energy. And while you're doing that, you could be reciting an Our Father, a Hail Mary, a Glory to the Father. And you could be basically telling the spirit, like in this case, the Anima Sola, right? Anima Sola, please protect me from all sicknesses. Protect me from my enemies, seen and unseen, known and unknown, visible and invisible, of this world, other world, and primordial forces that come against me. Protect me against um, early death. Protect me against witchcraft. Protect me against the evil eye, the slandering tongue. And open the doors for abundance, long life, prosperity, amazing health, and so forth and so on, right? So you want to just do that. And while all of this is going on, the first thing that you want to do is light a candle before you start. Before you start any ceremony with any saint or any spirit or any folk saint, you want to light a candle first. Usually a white candle. I know people see the anima sola and they immediately want to jump to using red candles. But when we're going to work with the anima sola, the best way to start is with a white candle. Okay, you could put your glass of water there as, to, as well, too, and just prepare that, you know. And then after you're done wiping it and then you kind of like, you know, get yourself a nice little um, get your nice, a nice little towel to dry the statue out. Right. Then you want to get yourself some incense. Right. And you could just like, let's say, get an incense burner like this. And burn some resin like frankincense, right? And just pass the statue over the frankincense smoke, all right? Over the resin smoke, not um, incense sticks or cones, okay? Incense resins, frankincense and myrrh, okay? So once you do that, um, you could do a novena to the statue for nine days to call the spirit into the statue so that the spirit receives the statue if you want to confirm that the spirit is okay with the way that you prepared the candle, I mean, sorry, that you prepared the statue, you could get an indicator card that represents that saint, right? An indicator card that represents that saint or that spirit that you're working with. Shuffle the cards, bam, bam, bam. Shuffle the cards and make two stacks. One for yes, one for no. And wherever that card falls, it'll tell you if it's, you ask it, like in this case, Anima Sola, are you content with everything that was done here for you? And then you basically go boom, boom, yes, no, yes, no. And wherever it lands, she'll respond to you in that way, okay? It's a very it's a very quick and effective way. It's a very easy way of doing things, not having to complicate spirituality because spirituality is not meant to be complicated, okay? A lot of people love to complicate things, all right? But it's very easy, you know, light your candle first. You could put a glass of water, 
um, you know, wash the spirit with the universal plant of basil, which is good for almost every spirit or every folk saint that we work with in Latin American folk magic and espiritismo as well. Um, use the, the, the perfume that that spirit wants, that that spirit likes, right? And then do a novena to introduce that spirit into your statue, okay? Some people like to put cargas in the statues and sometimes the statues will come with a hole and come with a um, with a with a spot there for you to put a carga. If you're someone who is wanting to know about um, putting a carga, you can contact me um, at my link below in this video. There will be a link to my calendar, and you could book yourself a platica or have a conversation with with me, a conversation with me, and I will teach you. Um, the certain cargas for certain spirits, okay, um, that I know. If I don't know it, then I'm going to tell you, hey, listen, I don't know how to do that, all right? But, um, but yeah, so, um, like I said, um, Purgatory Magic or Brujerias for everybody, you know, to book your readings, you could go to the link um, below in this video. And if you want to follow me on um, Instagram, you could go to Purgatory Magic, it's at purgatory underscore magic, not any other link. I do not solicit readings on Messenger. I have links for my calendar that you could go straight to my calendar and you could book your reading and then I will um, send you a text message. All right. Um, remember to like, um, like and subscribe. Um, please, the more that you um, subscribe, the more that um, you like, it motivates me to make these videos. So I keep um, promoting um, Latin American folk magic and spirituality. Okay. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day.